For this tutorial, I'm using Lion Brand's Wool Ease Thick and Quick. It is 106 yards, so you'll just need one ball for this project. It is a super bulky weight yarn, and they do recommend a 9mm or a 10mm hook. And I'm using the color Flax. I'm going to be using the suggested 9mm hook, and I'm also going to be using this palm button from angieandbrit.com. I'll link it in the description box. And a tape measure. To begin, I'm leaving myself a long length of tail so that I can sew the palm button on to the underside of the hat. If you aren't using this, you can skip this and just make a normal tail. Begin by chaining four. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to create a ring. We're going to be working inside that ring. Chain one. Inside the ring, you need to make eight single crochet. Now you will notice that I crochet right over the top of my tail here. That is so that I can cinch it closed a little bit more after I make this round. Now we are going to slip stitch to join in the very first single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and pull on that tail. Now I'm going to chain one. And we are going to be working through the back loops only in this round in every stitch. That's this loop right here. Make two single crochet in every stitch around through the back loop only. Of course, you should have 16 single crochet at the end of this round. Now we are going to join with a slip stitch in the very first single crochet. This is what it should look like. It creates a nice ribbing there. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to be working through the back loops only again in this round. That's these loops here. We're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next. Repeat that, two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. You're just going to repeat that stitch pattern all the way around, increasing in every other stitch. Here we are at the end, we're going to join with a slip stitch in our very first single crochet. Now we're going to chain two. This will not count as a stitch. We're going to turn our work. So in this round, we are going to be alternating our stitches. We are going to go through both loops in the first stitch, and then through the front loop in the next stitch. This is what creates our stitch pattern. So you will be alternating both loops, followed by a front loop. So in the same stitch we joined, we're going to put two double crochet through both loops. And in the next stitch, we're going to put a loose slip stitch through the front loop only. That's this loop here. 
the one closest to you. And the reason I say loose is because we're going to be working into it later. So we're going to go back to using both loops. We're going to put two double crochet through both loops. And we're going to make a loose slip stitch through the front loop only in the next stitch. I'm going to show you one more time. Make two double crochet through both loops. And then a slip stitch in the next through the front loop only. You're just going to continue repeating the stitch pattern all the way around until you reach the end. So here we are at the end. We're going to skip right over that chain two and slip stitch into our first double crochet to join this round. Now we're going to chain one and turn. This is what it should look like. We're going to be working through the back loops only in every stitch in this round. They're a little harder to see, but it's these loops here. We're going to make two single crochet through the back loop only in the same stitch we joined. Now we're going to put one single crochet through the back loop only in the next three stitches. So we increased and then we did three single crochet. Now we're going to increase again. We're going to put two single crochet through the back loop only in the next stitch. And then now we're going to put one in the next three stitches in the back loop only. You should see the pattern forming here. We are increasing in every fourth stitch. So you're just going to continue repeating this all the way around till you reach the end. Here we are at the end. Now we're not going to do our regular slip stitch because this won't be hidden by our pom pom. So we are going to do an invisible slip stitch. Begin by moving your tail to the back of your work. Remove your hook from your working loop. Insert your hook in the first stitch of the round from back to front. Now we're going to place that working loop on our hook and we're going to draw that loop to the back of our work. Again, this is known as an invisible slip stitch. Now we're just going to continue on as usual. We're going to stop and check our gauge here. If your gauge does not match mine, you're going to need to adjust your hook size and start over. So we're going to measure the diameter from side to side here. Check and make sure it measures anywhere from six to six and a half inches. If it does not measure that, then you need to start over. Adjusting your hook size first, of course or 16 centimeters. So now we're going to chain one and working through the back loops only again, we are going to skip our very first stitch. And the reason being is we have an odd number and we need an even number for our stitch pattern. So we're just going to be skipping our first stitch and we're going to work a single crochet through the back loop only in the rest of the stitches around.
we're no longer going to be increasing in the hat. At the end of this round, you should have 44 single crochet. So just go ahead and repeat one single crochet all the way around. Here we are at the end. We are going to make another invisible slip stitch. I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to take your tail to the back, remove your hook from your working loop, insert your hook from back to front in our very first stitch, place your working loop on your hook, and draw it to the back of your work. We're going to start round seven now. We're going to chain two. This will not count as a stitch. We're going to turn our work. We're going to alternate going through both loops and the front loops again. So just like we did before, we're going to alternate both loops and front loops in this stitch pattern. So now we are not increasing anymore, so we need to put one double crochet through both loops in our same stitch that we join. And we're going to do a slip stitch through the front loop only in the next stitch. Make sure you make it loose enough to work back into later. So continue alternating that, a double crochet through both loops and a slip stitch through the front loop. Just continue repeating that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. So here we are at the end, we're going to skip that chain two and slip stitch into that first double crochet of the round. Now we're going to begin round eight. Chain one and turn. We're going to be working through the back loops only again in this round. So in every stitch through the back loop only around we're going to make one single crochet. I will say it's very easy to increase in these rounds. So be sure when you are finished making this round that you stop and count and make sure you only have 44 single crochet. Here we are at the end. We're going to join with an invisible slip stitch yet again. Chain one, and we're going to single crochet again through the back loop only in every stitch around. And this is round nine. So just repeat that all the way around. Here we are at the end of round nine. We're going to join with an invisible slip stitch again. You should see the pattern forming here. We are simply going to repeat rounds seven, eight, and nine a total of three more times. So if you look at the one I've already finished, this is round seven, followed by rounds eight and nine. So you're just going to continue repeating seven, eight, and nine three more times. So you should have a total of five sort of like bobble rounds when you're done. And I wanted to show you the invisible slip stitch really makes a nice seam in the back. 
It's almost invisible, which is really what I was going for. So as you can see, it looks really nice. So you're just going to continue around seven, eight, and nine until your hat measures about eight and a half inches or about 22 centimeters. Now you can continue repeating round seven through nine until it gets the measurement you want, but I just like it like this. Don't forget to turn on round seven repeats so that the texture is on the outside of your beanie. So this is how you get it on the outside of your beanie. You have to turn and work on the wrong side. And then make sure that you turn again after finishing round seven so that the ribbing is facing the outside of your hat when you do your single crochet through the back loop only. So here's one that I already finished and I wanted to show you. This is how the palm button works. I put a little tag on the elastic of my pom poms and slide it through and then wrap it around the button until it's secure. So that's why I left this tail so that I could sew this button on. And it gives the care instructions right on the button, which is very convenient. You are finished. Your Balin beanie is complete. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.